Ayadeli Cassell is an award-winning dancer and choreographer who's worked on Broadway shows and who even earned a spot on a 2021 Forever stamp from the U.S. Postal Service. But while pursuing her own career, she's been equally dedicated to honoring the dancers of years gone by and ensuring their achievements and contributions are not forgotten. No matter her routine, choreographer Ayudeli Cassell is forever in the moment. I was so struck with this art form, how you could communicate a feeling and communicate your soul through, you know, through rhythm. You know what I mean? Like, it's instant. And that it derives not from something that people are teaching you, but just really something that you want to say within yourself. It all began nearly 30 years ago while in college at New York University. They offered us tap or tai chi, and I said, oh, I'm taking a tap class. I was so thrilled. I was finally living my Hollywood dream. A dream awakened by Savion Glover's off-Broadway hit. Bring in the noise, bring in the funk. When I saw noise funk at the public, that's when I saw what was possible. Yes. That's it. Even more possible yes. after meeting the legendary Gregory yes. Hines. Tap dancing is a male-dominated art form. It's very hard, and Ayadeli just burst through. He was everything to me. And to many of us, as young tap dancers and to the tap community, he really helped the, the form shine. And in 1985's White Nights, elevated the genre, giving a side-by-side -side comparison to classic dance with ballet's preeminent performer, Mikhail Baryshnikov. Starting to have done a lot of research in African-American performers and seen this whole history, I wanted to embrace it. As documentarian Hank Smith explains, tap is evolutionary. Born during slavery, when people turned their feet into percussive drumming instruments that were stripped away, it became both language and culture. Ireland's traditional tap dancing also gave influence. After the Civil War, minstrel shows in blackface tried to degrade that tradition. The jazz era and Harlem Renaissance reclaimed tap. But by the 1930s, it crossed over into the mainstream. The problem was white artists had the opportunity in Hollywood to have great careers doing tap dancing. And often they learned from black folks, but they got to do the big musicals and black artists couldn't really get to do that. Nor could they get equal billing with marquee stars like Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers, or Gene Kelly. Still, in those rare and often uneven integrated pairings, as with tap master Bill Bojangles Robinson and a curly top Shirley Temple, it was magic. So were the moves of the dynamic Nicholas Brothers. Fred Astaire said that their dance routine in the film Stormy Weather is the greatest dance routine ever captured on film. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Exclamation point. <laughs> Kathy and Nicole Nicholas are Fayard's granddaughters and Harold's grandnieces. And for anyone who's ever seen it, it's hard to not agree. And to know that that number was captured in one take mm -hmm. without them ever rehearsing it, they could just visualize it. They could see themselves coming down the stairs. But they never had any formal training. They have never had a dance lesson in their lives. But the Nicholas sisters, performers in their own right, are teaching a new generation all their moves. These little girls are not afraid to shout out, I am a girl and you need to move out of my way. We've got to show them what is possible. We have to be out here to give them something to aspire to that is in the now, that is current, that is accessible, and to be a model. And for us specifically, to tell the story of the past and the shoulders that we stand on, that you can take that legacy and evolve it. They stand on the shoulders of women who went unrecognized for decades. Our contributions, our presence, our histories and stories have really been purposely like, you know, erased or forgotten or omitted. 
This first one just says, love, Jenny Lagan. Like pioneer Jenny Lagan, the first black woman soloist signed by a major Hollywood studio. Or Alice Whitman, who along with her three sisters, ran their own tap touring company for over 40 years. How important is that in the work that you are, are setting forth? That memory, or yeah. that muscle memory of who came before? For me, it's, it's everything. I think my contribution is to fill in those gaps and essentially write women back into history. I felt it. The moment that I knew that this existed, I have been compelled to just say their names. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I just knew that I had to do it. And she does it every chance she gets. Jenny Lagan, Lois Bright, Louise Madison, Juanita Pitts, Edwina Salt, Evelyn Jewel, Pepper Welch. Most recently, while accepting the Doris Duke Foundation Artist Award, along with the $550,000 grant that comes with it. So your garage is your dance studio? Yes. This is <laughs> where I do all of my great tap thinking. <laughs> I must have called this into being because this project with these women that I always speak about, take the time to, to develop and write. This gives you permission. Yeah. Marie Knighton is with the Duke Foundation. Part of the intention here with this award is to let them get off the roller coaster for a mm -hmm. minute and without feeling like they're gonna lose something. Fresh off the success of Funny Girl, cassell has uh. been winning. Tapped by producers to choreograph the show's tap routines. So this is the stage that every artist gets to see, hopes to get to see I've never in been their lifetime. This, yeah, no. the perfect no, no, bridge for a woman connecting the art forms past and future through the enthusiasm of her presence. I want people to feel the joy that I feel, and so it's like I, I think I lead with that. I'm happy that people respond to that. She is infectious. Yeah. I mean, Amazing. she yeah. just has such drive, ambition to not only reach back to the past and give, you know, people their due, but she wants to ensure folks in the future understand why this is so important. And this fall, she has a show coming up, Chasing Magic. So if you're interested in seeing her, sure. That's the place to see it. I love tap dancing when I was a kid. I never knew any of that history. The history was so great. important so to know it. it really she, it's beautiful that she's shining the light on that. Yeah. Yeah.